So in this video uh, by the application of limits, we are going to uh, try to understand the meaning of the definition of derivative of uh, a function f of x. And um, it's really a big topic in calculus and every student who study calculus, uh, the word derivative just appears everywhere. So um, this is like the uh, first definition of derivative f of x. And um, we will try to provide a motivation why we have to look at uh, the meaning of the derivative of f of x. Let's look at the current picture here. So I give you a graph. And this graph is um, y equals f of x. And let's look at the particular point on this curve. And um, this is the point where x equals x naught. And the y coordinate of this point is given as uh, f of x naught. And uh, now, um, let's look at the meaning of tangent, tangent line. Tangent at the point x equals x naught to the, to the graph y equals f of x. And uh, the tangent is actually a straight line that passes through this point. And uh, this line is defined by the straight line that just actually just touch this curve, just touch the curve uh, y equals f of x. And um, the other way to mathematically understand this line in a better way uh, is that you can imagine you are a person actually um, walking along this line. Of course, um, you keep going up now um, ba based on the shape of this curve. And right at this point, right at this point, what is the direction you are going? Well, right at this point, you are actually going around this direction, right? And uh, the, the line, what we call the tangent line at this point, is actually the line, the straight line, that describes the direction you are traveling along the curve, right at that moment, x equals x naught. You can think of the definition of tangent like this. Now, the mathematical question is here. Are you able to find the slope of tangent? Uh, that's a big question here. Um, if you go back to what you learned in high school, uh, usually for a straight line, to find the slope, you need at least two pieces of information. Uh, you either have two points, or maybe you have um, one point, and maybe um, the equation of the line, etc. So um, let's think about this problem now. Um, what you have is this point, x naught, comma, f of x naught, right? And so let's think about it this way. You won't be able to find the slope of tangents because you don't have enough information now. Because uh, now you have a straight line here. You have a straight line here. However, the only information you have is only one point. Obviously, you don't have the equation of this tangent line. It is not given. And the other thing is you only know one point on this line, which is not enough for you to find the slope of tangents, right? Uh, now, uh, to twist the problem a little bit, uh, instead of directly finding the slope of tangent, we can try to do some approximations in some sense. You can imagine that now, please look at the picture below. You can imagine that you have a second point. Uh, the point is actually quite near to the original point x naught. It's quite near. Of course, now uh, please see how I chose the uh, the red point x naught plus h. This h is the distance between the two points, right? Of course, you are free to adjust the length of h. The h can be very close to zero, for example. It means the two points are really quite close to each other. Now let's look at the current picture. I can actually connect the two points by a strict line, like this. So uh, it's a strict line, strict line connecting uh, two points. The two points are the original point on the curve and also uh, another point which is actually quite close quite close to um, the original point uh, when x is x naught. And uh, but it's just a little bit far away depending on the distance h between the two points, x naught and x naught plus h. So let's look at the current situation. In this picture, you are actually able to find the slope of this line. Why? Because uh, you already have two points, right? So uh, the slope is what? The slope is actually f of um, x0 plus h minus f of x0 divided by x of 0 plus h minus x0. And uh, or the other way, 
I can simplify slightly because uh, please look at the denominator now. You can actually simplify slightly by canceling the x0, x0, like this. Now, uh, this is what? Let's look at this fraction. You have all these values with you because uh, x0 is a number you have, h is a number you have, and you know the function f, right? So you're able to find the slope, numerically speaking. But that is the exact meaning of this one. This, uh, this number inside the red box is actually the slope of this line, slope of this line. Which is, of course, if you think about that, which is, of course, not the same as the line of tangent. This one is the tangent, given in the first picture. They, they are not the same line, obviously. I mean, they are really not the same line. They are, they are just not the same. Because our red line now actually passed through two points, right? Two points here, two points. So, uh, however, the actual tangent line, purple line, actually just touch uh, one point, which is the point uh, based on x naught. But let's think about it by the concept of uh, approximation. The fact is like this. You can choose h. Please recall the meaning of h. h is the distance between the two points. You can choose h to be cl very close to 0. So it, it essentially means that x0 is uh, very close to x0 plus h, right? I mean, they are really close now if h is very small. And in that case, I believe these two lines, the red line, the red line I'm talking about, please imagine what's happening. It's going to be very close to the purple line. If the two points are close, if the two points are close, I'm saying if these two points are very close and the red line is uh, joined by the two points on the curve, right? I mean, it's joined by these two points on the curve. The, the two points are just very close. We expect that uh, the two lines are almost the same. So uh, then it means the tangent is almost the same as uh, the red line. In that case, if they are almost the same, we expect the slope. So the slope is almost the same as uh, the slope of the red line also. So what does it mean? Uh, please look at the concept I put up here. Please look at this concept. Uh, this concept basically means uh, this concept basically means that um, the slopes are almost the same when h is very close to zero. So uh, let's let's use a limit definition to explain it. Slope of tangent. If I choose limit, h goes to zero. Um, and I think when h is very close to zero, uh, the slope of tangent is uh, very close to the slope of the red line. And we have mentioned above that the slope of the red line is the, this one. And uh, this is at the point x equals x naught for this slope of tangent. Now, uh, basically, that's it. Basically, that's it. Please look at this formula. Look at this formula. This formula actually means the slope of tangent at one point x equals x naught can be computed by finding the limit on the right hand side. This limit means what? This limit is describing the slope of uh, a straight line that connects the two points on the curve based on the first point x equals x naught and the second point x equals x naught h. When you connect these two points, look at the straight line. And, uh, this expression inside the bracket uh, actually describe the slope uh, of that particular line. If you just take h goes to zero, this line is just almost the same as the tangent line, and we expect that the slope should be almost the same. So it's really the approximation process, which is the uh, core concept of the topic of limit. And uh, now let me define uh, the definition of derivative this way. So uh, define f prime of x to be uh, the derivative of f of x by this one. Limit h goes to 0, uh, f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h. So uh, why am I doing this definition? I'm using this definition based on the motivation how, how I find the slope of tangent. 
And finding slope of tangent is not that easy. Uh, from the beginning, I mentioned in this video that finding slope of tangent is not easy because you don't have enough information on the graph. You only have one point on the graph, which is not enough. For straight line, we usually need two points to get the slope. Anyway, by using the limit process, we expect that finding the limit on this right-hand side of this equation, we actually understand the slope of tangent at a particular point x equals x naught. And um, I abstractly speaking, I actually define um, something called derivative based on the definition, based on the motivation of the slope of tangent above. And uh, in the topic of differentiation, there are many rules that usually you are going to learn in calculus course. Um, and all these rules are helping you to find um, the derivative f prime of x.